All right, guys, before we begin, I just want to let you know that I just, I just filmed the video for Cassidy, but I want to explain what it is. Uh, number one, you've you got to know the song Cassidy by the Grateful Dead. Uh, number two, this is just about learning how to play it on acoustic by yourself. Um, uh, and, you know, you can play the chords all the time to a song, but when you listen to the version, there's a lot more than just the chords going on. That's what this is about. This is about filling those spaces with the chords. So, A, if you haven't heard the song Cassidy by the Grateful Dead, go look it up. It's a, uh, an A-plus song, without a doubt. Uh, and number two, grab your acoustic and go slow with this. This is just about filling the spaces in between with some Jerry-isms and some confidence so you can go play for someone. All right, on to the video. Here we go. Bye. All right, welcome back to uh, another episode of Stitch Method. I am currently on the road, uh, and, uh, you know, the music never stops. So I figured let's just uh, get a quick uh, lesson in, uh, and I'll tell you the reasoning behind this whole lesson uh, for Cassidy by the Grateful Dead. Uh, I was uh, recently at NAMM uh, in Tennessee uh, with a bunch of my friends, and um, I had to drive from Tennessee to Connecticut, and I had the Grateful Dead channel on, and Cassidy came on several times, and, you know, you can get so lost in that song and how good the song is, um, and uh, I was starting thinking, well, how, do you, you know, how would you play this uh, on acoustic by yourself? You know, because you have the chord progression that Bobby wrote, and then you have the, the Jerry-isms all throughout this song. And when you really listen, it's hard to imagine how you can combine them in one guitar. So uh, this, isn't gonna be the, this is not going to be the whole song. It's going to be all the pieces of the song, and it, you, you should listen to the song and put it all together. Um, I don't know if there will be a chart for this one. Maybe there will be, but let's get right started to the whole thing. Okay, Cassidy. Uh, absolutely fascinating song. And um, the chord progression is wild. So it starts off, um, uh, we'll do the intro in a little bit, but look, you know, with E uh, to an A part. You know, um, and do that twice. And then it's going to go to E minor. A minor. And so we definitely have a key change there, just to show you, because there's no key that has E major, E, uh, um, A major, and E minor, and A minor. In, in the same key, so we got to keep you know look out for these moments. Uh, then it's going to go to an F sharp minor to an A. I have a creeping suspicion that I know a key that's in already. And then back to E, and it has some A's and E's, and it has a B in it. And so this thing is all over the place, um, dancing between uh, the key of E or A, um, and uh, yeah, E and A, and then we have this E minor, A minor part, which I'll show you what's happening. So let, let's get that right down to it. Grab your acoustic guitars, and let's have some fun. All right, so the very famous intro of Cassidy starts off with this E mixolydian run. And just to show you E mixolydian, uh, which is really A major, if you start on the E, seventh fret, we have a seven, nine, uh, six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine. That's where the opening riff is. great double guitar comes in with this other piece, which is mixing the major minor third of A, which is brilliant. Great part. There's construction work going on, and I'm on vacation, so this, this video might be a little uh, not as uh, sharp as the other Stitch Method videos, but less fun. Okay, so we have the first part. You can see the tabs for this. Second part. Okay, the eight, eight to ten, minor third. That's good. Brilliant stuff. I'm loving it already. So now, um, it goes into the verse right away with the E. When you listen to the song, you can listen to the Reckoning version, which is the acoustic. There are plenty of acoustic Cassidy's uh, that you can hear. You know, um, you can hear Bobby sing. here, and this is what I want to pay attention to, is here we change to an A chord, here's where the vocals stop, and this is where Jerry comes in, and just kind of like, <laughs> kind of like a friend, you know, just picking his head out into a conversation, being like, hey, uh, this is when, when, when they hit the A, this is when Jerry shines, and you'll hear him do stuff like this, like a... What's that stuff he's doing? It's, well, it's actually plain and simple. This E to an A part, um, you can look at it, you know, is it a 1 to a 4? Is it E to A? Or is it um, a 5 to a 1? 
which is e to a. And so uh, it is most definitely this 5 to 1 progression that's very common in Grateful Dead, this mixolydian type feel, which means that the E is the 5 and the A is 1, which means that the A major scale itself is going to always uh, take the cake on this. So when they're playing the E, if you're, if you're playing this by yourself, you're going to come in E chord you know, with the chords, and you're going to sing. You're going to jump right into an A major scale. So let me show you this massive A major scale that Jerry Garcia uses a lot in, in all of his performances and, and something that you can kind of memorize to get to. So it's, it's all A major stuff, and I'll show it to you. You're going to be doing, you're going to be learning this. Oh. It's not a stitch method video unless I mess up. Okay, so what the heck was that? All right, so uh, A, A major scale starting in the open A, 0, 2, 4, 0, 2, 4, 1, 2. Okay, that's A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, and A. And then you're going to continue with this, and it's, it's going to be 2, 4, 2, 3, 5, 2, 4, 5. Same notes, A, B, C sharp, D, E, yeah, F sharp, G sharp, A. So this... One piece of the puzzle that you can put in on that A chord when the vocals stop and you want to play a little bit of Jerry stuff, but you just don't want to play an A chord. So again, it, was, it should sound like this. Anything you want to do. Now this is the simple stuff. Um, that's the first space. The second space that you see him work in is you'll hear him grab this little piece of the A chord, and you hear him do this a lot. Now there's that E-shaped A chord, he's playing the major third and the one, and I've shown this on several Stitch Method videos, I forget which one, but this, you know, 6-5, um, 7-7 seven, seven to 9-9, nine, nine. this 9-9 nine, nine here is another A chord we'll discuss, but you hear him play that type of, type of thing when he gets there. So again, you might hear him like, from uh, they love each other type stuff. All right, now, another place he gets to is up here, and this is the, the C-shaped scale, and this is the root note here. And it's, um, again, it's an A major scale, 12th fret, and I'll, I'll do the uh, frets 12 on the A, then 9, 11, 12 on the D, 9, 11, 12, no, sorry, 9, 11 on the G, I swear, then 9, 10, 12, and 9, 10, 12. So you have... So Jerry Garcia, I mean, don't underestimate how fast and brutal he was. Um, he was a tremendously talented guitar, excuse me, talented guitar player, um, and he uh, he moved quickly. You don't have to move quickly. You just want to move comfortably. So in this very first part, E to A, you can choose whatever you want. everything kind of okay and then what happens here it goes to E minor to A minor or E minor 7 to A minor total key change when you look at this you can say well can't you just you know is it E minor is the key of E minor and it kind of is um, we're gonna look at that E minor as as the start of this progression to the A minor um, but you don't want to use, you can use the E minor scale or you can use the G major scale. They're both the same thing at this part. And this is what Jerry Garcia does. This E minor to A minor can either be considered, um, well, you know, E minor being the root, A minor being the four, which I don't like to think about this, but if you convert it into the key of G, um, you have a, a six to two. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, a six to two, and you're in the key of G. And so when you're playing the E minor, you know, any G major slash E minor scale is going to work. Uh, one that you're going to do if you're down here on the acoustic. You know, uh, you can continue it. No. And I'll show those frets, but any E minor G slash G major scale. So in this, it's E, F sharp, G, A, B, uh, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So this whole thing. And now, where does he put it in? Well, he puts it in again on those vocal pauses, right? Like...
anything you want. A couple cool chord voicings that you want to use if you if you want to get there is I love this E minor for um, this song, which would be seventh fret of the A, fifth fret of the D, fourth fret of the G, and fifth fret of the B. But that pinky might hurt, so you can kind of hit the E chord and just keep the E string, excuse me, and watch the night time the E minor. So now, I guess this video is gonna be really long. Whatever, I'm on vacation. All right, so the first part, E to A with the A major fills. Second part, E minor to A minor with the E minor slash G major fills. By the way, you can think of it in many different ways here, but Jerry Garcia was a smart dude. You can think of it as an E minor scale. You can think of it as a G major scale, but the truth is, is that it is coming in on the A minor. And so A minor is the second note in the key of G. And so you can think of it as an A Dorian if you want to. Uh, whatever eases your mind and helps you navigate through the fretboard, it's all the same stuff on how you think about it. So you have E major, A, A major stuff. sharp minor we're back to the key of A F sharp minor and A is the 6 and the 1 and uh, I love this part here coming up we have the F sharp minor to the A and you can hear Jerry do some really cool stuff number one you can use your A major scale but he uses this up you can hear him here in several several recordings where he's just using like the, this box this little uh, form 1 box type diatonic and I'll, I'll show you that in a second but he does some cool stuff on the A within that box as well. So in the F sharp, he's playing the F sharp minor, which is also an A major scale. They're both the same scale. You can watch my relative major, relative minor videos. Um, and so we have two, four, five, two, four, five, two, four, one, two, four, two, three, five, two, four, five. The notes are in are the exact notes of F sharp minor and A major, which are F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, all the way through. All right, and so he's gonna hit the F sharp minor. Now, in this part here, by the way, you can start to hear Jerry um, incorporate some more runs than waiting for the vocals to stop. And one thing that he loves doing, and it's, it's great, is this. And it's like, well, what, where did that come from? And you gotta really look at that. When I first time do that, you know, you go like, what? Like, how did you, how'd you figure this out? And then you realize, like, if you take an A blues, like an open A in the second fret, Right here, you get the four, and you know uh, you get the four, the five, the six, and, and it's such a cool little thing um, that he has going here. And so you get this like the A. Every note is either in that little box, except that little. So you got. I realize it's probably a 20 minute video, if not more. All right, so I gotta do the whole thing so you can hear it. Again, you're waiting for the vocal pauses in Cassidy um, to put a little bit of sunshine that Jerry adds to the, to the moments where the vocals drop out. So you have... Um take you for a lot of that song, take you uh, really a lot through it. And then we have um, the next part of the song is this um, A to E. And there's really not a lot of soloing on here. If you want to try and throw in that A major scale, you absolutely can. Um, but when you listen to the song, really they stick to the chords like... On the 
B, uh, you can hear Jerry Garcia grab this B up here. Okay, uh, yeah, 7, 8, 9, B, G. And you hear him on the acoustic versions. And that's a smart thing to do because he's building it into a seventh chord. He's got his triad, 1, 3, 5. He puts the sixth in here. Okay, and boom, boom, boom. F sharp, G sharp, and then gets the A and makes this um, B7 chord, which is just brilliant sounding. So in this part here, like, one thing I hear Jerry doing is his Jerry stuff, that thing. So I'll show you that too. A, and then he's going to come up into the F sharp, slide to the G sharp, the major third, to the open A. And he just does that stuff a lot in his bass line. So you got... favorite parts, right? Which is uh, the F sharp minor, E, G. Now it depends on where you are, if you're on the acoustic guitar, where you want to do this. You can easily, you know, come from a B, then You can do that if you want to. Uh, Jerry Garcia takes those chords, the F sharp minor, the E, and the B, and he plays the that very famous line, which everyone loves, that... that just to show you, that comes from the F sharp minor chord right here in the uh, A minor shape. He's playing. Then it goes to an E chord, which is the G shape, and look at those fingers there. Okay, so it's got F sharp minor to the G shaped E chord, uh, and then to a B chord, which is just the E shape, but. So you can see these chords, like. If I can play right. Isolating this really cool melodic line. Okay, but the thing is, do you have it within you uh, at that moment to lighten up the sound here? You know, you're becoming from that B. Um, If I were you, I kind of would start up here. Actually, I would start here. And then bring it down. And the song really starts over again. So these are just bits and pieces of how you can play um, Cassidy by yourself on acoustic and make it more interesting than just the chords. Um, Again, you know, there are some scale work options here. It, I, I might make a chart. I might not. I'll see uh, if I have the time. Again, I'm on vacation, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Grab your acoustic guitars. If you know the song Cassidy, start playing it. Start singing it. If you're not the best singer in the world, I'm not the best singer in the world. doesn't matter. Just, just play along. When the vocals stop, fill it with those Jerry Garcia uh, lines, and then get through the whole song and have some fun. Uh, I, I think you'll feel a lot more confident about being able to play a song that's not just chords but has some melody in, uh, in it. And I hope I did my job. Uh, enjoy um, this video, and I'm going to go enjoy my time on vacation, but I'll do another video. Rock and roll, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.